Hello, are you looking to generate leads or sales and also increase brand awareness? In this video, I'm going to show you just that using Google Display Network. Hello and welcome back. My name is Ozair and thanks for joining in. If you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell button as you'll be notified every time we upload new content and we upload our videos on our channel on a very regular basis so let's get started um, google display network is one of the most untapped channels where you can generate a lot of leads in fact high quality leads at very low cost unfortunately i would say majority of advertisers on google don't know how to utilize this network properly so in this video i'm going to show you just that and we'll use an example for a, a wedding photography business as to how you'd go about uh, using um, the google display network to generate leads or sales for your wedding photography business but if you've got some other business the same uh, things apply it's just that you will be targeting your niche or your keywords or your audiences for your business okay so let's get started um we are here in our uh, google ads uh, portal you click at the campaign level new campaign and we want to generate leads and from here you are going to select display and that is the display network um, you get two options over here one is the smart display and one is the standard we want to go on the standard display for this one then you enter your um, business URL so I'm going to take a, a a photographer's website now I search for a particular wedding photography keyword and this uh, website popped up on number one so the name of this website is Lisa Lander Photography. So they get a little bit of uh, branding and brand awareness. Okay, so then you pop your address over here. Then you put in your uh, campaign name. You can put in whatever you like, but I'm just going to put in continue you'll be asked locations now what Google has done recently is it has changed this interface and made it a lot more easier to create these campaigns so you'll be prompted with a certain uh, question or things to choose or select and all you do is just keep going through it so now as they say creating campaigns is easier I don't want that okay I'm gonna exit the guide um, you can select the country or the locations and if you want to go in the advanced search uh, let's say I want to put in a radius around me where we are let's say this is in Birmingham um, I'll select that it will show me where my ads are going to show up and I'm going to select then you have another option over here under the location options which is quite important because what you want to do is instead of the first one which Google recommends you need to select the second one because I want to search for people just in my targeted location but if you want to show outside let's say somebody in London is searching for wedding photographers in Birmingham then you want to be selecting that one but I only want to select people in my targeted location and that's what I would do the second one is fine the ex uh, people presence of people in your excluded locations you just select that one language English then you go to more settings uh, add rotations you don't want to worry too much about it for the time being we just let Google optimize the best performing ads for now um, and then I go into more settings again add schedule I want to run it all day long but you can select 
which days you want to run, whether you want to just run Monday to Fridays or weekends or all days and select the time range. I'll keep it like that. Now devices I want to show up on every device which is mobile, computer and tablet. You don't need to worry too much about this. This is the advanced options, dynamic as you don't want to uh, worry too much for this campaign. Start and end date. Um, if I'm start, if I want my campaigns to start as quickly as possible once the ads have been approved, then you just leave it as it is. And let's say you want you don't want to run your ads over the Christmas period because you are closed. So you can put an end date over here, as 20th or 21st of December, and then the campaign would automatically stop. Otherwise, if you just want to let it run. Uh, don't put any any dates at the uh, on the end date conversions you need to set up your conversion action before you start any campaigns don't have to um, you know say this because without conversion tracking nothing is going to work for you and you don't need to worry too much about the content but if you want to go into here um, and don't want to show your ads on certain uh, sensitive topics then you can uh, select and opt out right and then we go next put in your budget this is my test campaign so that's going to be one pound for now but you can put in whatever you want now you've got two options one is the individual campaign budget which is set per campaign you may have multiple campaigns in your account or you can also add from a shared budget so what this shared budget does is you can create a shared budget and have multiple campaigns look into um, the same um, budget so you may have five let's say your budget is 100 pounds a day and you've got five campaigns running that does not mean that each campaign is going to uh, take 20 pounds from that budget if one campaign is performing very well, it's going to eat up a lot more budget than the other ones which are not getting enough of the budget and may not run properly. So there are advantages and disadvantages for a shared budget. It's entirely up to you how you wish to uh, run your uh, uh, budgeting. So for now, I'll just going to keep it as individual campaign. Bidding, what you want to do is start off with max maximize conversions, right? Uh, that is my go-to uh, conversion uh, action for for the time being in 2021. Before we used to start with manual campaign, but now the algorithm and the machine learning is getting so much better that you can start off with this. What I'm telling Google is get me a conversion at any price. I don't care. I just need some conversion, some data into the account so that we can see what's happening and what's not happening. Okay. Um, now we need to target who we wish to target so there are certain ways we can target our ads um, so we can segment the audiences demographics keywords topics or placements so let's go through each one of these now Google has pre-built audiences in here as you can see so I can um target if i want to get in front of the wedding plan if somebody is organizing their wedding they are looking at wedding planners or wedding planning so they will be my perfect audience um somebody who's looking to buy wedding rings and or engagement rings that could be another one um and there were some more where bridal wear wedding photography is a bull's eye audience targeting you can put in pre-wedding photography you can go a bit broad with local photographers see there are loads of these but what i would do is i'm not going to do what i've just done throw in a lot of um, targeting in one ad group i will create one ad group and this is really important one targeting per ad group so i'm going to clear the all of this and I'm going to just go with the top one 
let's go wedding planning right just one and nothing else um, then you have this option whether you want to optimize the targeting or not some people say yeah it works really well some people say they don't it doesn't Tr try test it if it doesn't then you can uh, take it out okay and that's all you do and then you start writing your ad now as I put in the URL of a wedding photography website it's going to give me some ideas when I click over there why isn't that not working it popped up a minute ago okay let's say I'm gonna just start put typing in wedding photographer Birmingham okay too long I can't do it so I'm gonna put a short form like that there you go um, I'm just gonna select these but you can create your own headlines and descriptions okay we put in it says you add up to five uh, headlines I put this in and you can see that all the headline this green box has checked right okay then I need to put in a long headline so all I'm going to do for the sake of this exercise I'm just going to copy all of this to make something up but you should write it properly because you've got 90 characters so utilize it properly then Google has already pre-entered some text just check it make sure it makes um, sense now for laid-back and carefree couples it really depends whether you want to use that language or not but there you go uh, I'm just going to use Google's descriptions for now now if you put in the same one twice it will tell you that you are repeating yourself okay, I'm just going to do that for now so please do fill up all the characters count because you must utilize all the space and then I'm going to put in Lisa Lander photography all right next is I've got the, over here the green headlines and descriptions are done now I need to start adding images and videos so you can click over here you can say it you need to have a minimum of two or more high quality images which you can either upload or you can use Google's uh, ones and also you can put in a, a, a video in there as well so it will also scan the website for you which is really good so you can don't have to upload you have two options over here one is for the rectangle size I can frame it the way I want because I know me being a ex photographer us photographers are very fussy as to how we frame the images okay so this is a use as an image and not as a logo I will selected that and select two ratios use that one this looks good go over here and that's fine now this one because this square one is going to get cropped so I'm not going to use that I'm only going to use this size uh, this one will work for both of them good and you just need a f about 10 images and so on but you can put in as many as you want right and I'm going to save it where have we got a logo we don't seem to have a logo 
over here but what I will do is just for the sake of this video I'm going to use this one as a logo right like that something like that uh, oops the other way around okay so that's done um, and I can also put in a video it says your portrait and landscape videos around 30 seconds work best you can have longer ones as well if you like I'm just going to let's do oh they have a video as well by Lisa Lander I'll just use her video and this is how good your ad is going to look like so what will happen is Google is going to use a, an image, a headline or a long headline or a description line depend, depending on the size of the of the ad. Now, this, these are called the responsive display ad. These are really good because you don't need to be a designer. It will mix and match the headlines, photos and the video and see which one is working the best which is obviously the click-through rates and the conversions etc so whichever is performing the best is going to start using that a lot more so all the headache and the heavy lifting has been done by Google we don't need to worry about making lots of different sizes and di using different headlines and text and images all is done over here as you can see um, you can I'll show you the video ad which also looks really good like that so video is going to play within the ad and you have all the, your logo there information text etc and you can see how it's going to look on a on a computer you can choose your formats this is how the um, image ad is going to look like now what you can also do is once you've done all of these things uh, more options call to action that's really important you have lots of them get code sign up visit site contact us so I would use something like this contact us and also you can have custom colors for the uh, for these buttons and the text and stuff like that so you can put in the main color and the accent color as per your branding and once I'm happy with all of these and now I can see my ad strength is excellent I've got all the green tick marks over there that means I have filled in my ad what all the information which Google requires over here I'm gonna create the ad and next you can go through one final scan as to what you set up publish okay now what I would do is I'm going to go back to my ad group level and I think I selected that audience as wedding planning so I'm going to name this as wedding planning All right now we had loads of other ones as well all you do is copy this ad group paste it it will show you yeah put it in this campaign and paste and we're gonna do the same thing for as many ad groups as you want so one ad group one targeting right and the ad from the first ad ad group will be copied into the next one so we don't need to worry about that what I would do is make sure that the ad is approved first before you copy and paste it because if there's some problem then you will have to go into each one of these ad groups and um, rectify that once the first 
add group add is approved then you start copying and pasting as many ad groups as you want you can have 10 you can have 20 30 doesn't matter really so i've got my second one i don't know the name yet so all i would do is i would go to my ad group go to my audiences edit i'm going to take this one out and i'm going to select this one wedding and engagement rings and then i'm going to rename that ad group wedding and engagement rings that's done now i can do another ad group if you want i'll copy this and paste it the beauty with the display network is unlimited traffic you have got so much traffic over here you just cannot imagine you can scale it as much as you want you can test lots of different things you can i'm only done audiences i can do by keywords i can do by placements for well, placements is a good one where let's finish this one and i'll show you what i mean by placement um, you can target certain websites blogs or youtube channels with your video with your display ads right uh, okay so this one is copied i'm going to go to my ad group audiences edit take this one out and i'm going to select one more bridal wear but then there are other ones over here which are brand new in market or life events marriage you see getting married soon or recently married so if you've got a product if you're a photographer for newly married couples for example wedding albums or designing an album or something like that you can target them google knows that they are researching about getting married soon so you can search you can go after this or you can go in in market segment and go through all these options and see if you can find anything about there you go another one for wedding planning right uh, i'm going to select this one bridal wear and then i'm going to rename this ad group as bridal wear the way i'm doing this is obviously more work but you can see how organized your ad groups are starting to look if you throw all your targeting in one ad group it's very difficult for you to see what's working and what's not working which is expensive which is giving you conversions at a good price so this is how i would go about doing it now let's go to uh, placements where you can place your ads and you, you can tell google look i want to just place my ads over here so if i put in uh, wedding blogs right so you are going to find all these websites rock my wedding whimsical wonderful weddings wedding blogs love my dress want that wedding okay all these blogs are monetized with advertising so this is an ad which has been uh, placed by google and the way to look at that is this if you click on the ad choices you will see that the name of that advertiser where they are based and this is what the Google's um, ad personalization um, advertiser identity tells you. So I know that this is a Google product. There are other companies, third party companies, which can also uh, put ads on placements, but this is for sure is a Google ad. So what we did just now is those image, headline, description, call to action, it has been made up in this size 
you will also see a smaller size right using the same information which we have put in the headlines and descriptions now this is one of my products which is the google ads like a boss now this has popped up in front of me because google is targeting me as a user google knows i'm interested in google ads so although this website has got nothing to do with online marketing digital marketing google ads and so on it is the person who is seeing these ads so this is one of my remarketing ads which has have popped up over here and i don't need to do anything but with regards to this one okay let's go to this one is down um let's see any ads which are popping up here sometimes these blogs they run their own advertising um, stuff and not not let Google run ads on there so this one hasn't got any uh, let's see over here sometimes you'll see little boxes on the right hand side where the ads pop up but you get the gist um, it's not only these wedding album wedding blogs which will show your ads it could be any so if I go to cnn.com you can pick up a um, a placement over here so let's say you know lifestyle category or there will be lots of different categories over here um, I think the ad is popping about to pop up over here the internet is a, good, a bit slow um, that's one of my ads which have popped up again in there this is a different size ad you see um, all these high quality websites will allow Google to run their ads so you can then put in your placements on these channels and and websites right so that's how you set up a, a display campaign go through all the targeting and the audiences don't start all of them at the same time do a handful if you are new to this see what's happening what's not happening if you are getting clicks that means people like your ad what they read on the ad but if you're not getting the conversions the problem may be or will be on the landing page the offer is not good there is no strong call to action the messaging is not strong enough copywriting could be weak the images are not very good so you need to keep tweaking and testing. So the first thing you want to do is to start driving highly targeted traffic from here onto your website. And then if they don't convert, then you start looking at what is your targeting. Yes, I am getting the right target. So if these ads showed up on a wedding blog, you know that all these brides are uh, reading these blogs. Now, the other thing which I would do, and also from my experience is, you want to exclude uh, certain demographics uh, so for example men you don't want to show your ads to men um, only to women so you can do that and you can also select a certain uh, age range so if you want to exclude 18 to 24 um, highly unlikely that that age group is going to get married then you can exclude them as well so there's lots of different ways you can start to uh, put exclusions and keep on optimizing your campaign until you start to get the results so if you enjoyed this um, video please do subscribe um, to our channel we upload uh, web uh, videos on a regular basis I appreciate your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now